name's Anne McAvaney. I'm a street artist from the Cronulla area. I shape boards, I'm a graphic designer by trade, and I've been doing street artists for about five, six years. I am a rugby league fan. I really, really, I, I love watching the footy. I just, I, I love the game. Unfortunately, I'm a Newcastle Knights fan. Getting the wooden spoon this year didn't really help because my team wasn't on the boards that I'm painting. My partner and, and my son are, are they're diehard uh, St George fans, so they got to see their first week of the finals. Cass Wilkins, she approached me, they needed an artist to do a couple of walls just to get the hype of the, the game in the finals, um, just to sort of bring it to life sort of thing and get the public aware of what's going on and tie all the teams in. So we came up with this idea of the four boards uh, to sort of tell the story of the finals. Um, so obviously week one, week two, week three, and then the big grand final at the end. Week one was just to sort of get eight teams, the final eight, uh, into one board. So that was that was a bit tricky. So we, we decided to play around with just the logos, uh, stationary on what the match huts are gonna be. We to light it up, uh, which is gonna be running, the colors running throughout the theme of the boards. Week two, we, we can sort of have a bit of a play around with it a bit more, get a bit more funky with colors and stuff like that. Um, get a bit more characterizations, bring in some of the mascots and stuff like that and have a bit of fun. We've incorporated in the banners of the semi-finals 2015. Uh, the Broncos has got the maroon, and then we've incorporated the purple to represent the storm. Week three, play around with sort of the, the matchups, maybe have a bit more of a scene sort of thing, a bit more of a background. People stop, I mean, it's like music. You, you see someone busking in the street and you're gonna stop and you're gonna watch and listen to what they've got to, to sing about or play. And um, with art, I think it's the same. You, you wanna watch it come together and come to life, um, especially with the live art. It, it definitely you can see it all starting to map out. A lot of people haven't seen street art from the base sketch come to life because it looks like a thousand little lines and then it comes to life and it actually looks really good. Interacting with people um, with these boards every week, it's definitely going to, yeah, it's going to be good. I've just got my little burrito collective, it's called. It's a little sort of um, apparel, streetwear, um, and artworks and surfboards as well, um, shaping my own boards. It's going to be a good start to sort of get my name out there and just show what all my artwork's sort of all about. It's been a real awesome opportunity to collaborate with the NRL and I really hope I can light it up this series.